Hi guys, my name is Emily. Welcome to another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesdays were created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey, and currently they are hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. Links to our Goodreads group will be in the description box down below, and I encourage you to join because these are really fun. Today is November 9th, and today we are talking about characters that I used to love but don't love anymore. Let's hop right into this. This might be unpopular. Lyra from Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials. As a kid, I really loved Lyra. We were close to the same age. I identified with her. I found her really spunky and snarky, and I really enjoyed her character. Rereading the series, I got to the subtle knife, and seeing Lyra from Will's perspective, um, I really started to dislike her. Maybe it's just because I'm an adult and I've met children like Lyra, I've had to deal with children like Lyra, and I'm not a child anymore, and I know I can't get away with the kind of things that Lyra does, but I found Lyra really annoying, especially in The Subtle Knife. And that might be an unpopular opinion, but I find it interesting just how much my opinion of Lyra has changed just with my age. The next character is from Tamora Pierce's world, um, and that is King John, especially in The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, part of the Song of the Lioness series. Um, so King John starts off as a very good friend to Alana, he's very understanding, and then we get to this novel and he is just the biggest dick because now he is king. I guess now that he actually has like legitimate responsibilities to his kingdom, he is making choices that are good for the kingdom and not necessarily good for our main character who we love and sympathize with. But yeah, I really, really don't like him anymore. Which is kind of too bad because initially I did really like Jonathan as a character and when I go back and I read the first two novels I still really enjoy him as a character and then I hit this point and I'm like, oh, Jonathan. The next character I have here is another Tamora Pierce character uh, and that is Numair from the Immortals series. So Numair starts off as this kind of cool older wizard figure. He's a Gandalf, right? Now imagine if Gandalf started a romantic relationship with Frodo. Just that power imbalance between teacher and student and having a significant age gap between the teacher and the student and then make that student an orphan with like absolutely no family to depend on, completely isolated, depends on her teacher for stability and then add a sexual relationship and it just gets gross. The next character that I have grown to not love is Selena from Throne of Glass, especially as the series has progressed. So initially we're introduced to her, it's very like she's this underdog character who has all this awesome assassin training and we see her sort of rise to the top despite her clear disadvantages. And at first I was like, okay, cool, awesome, I like you. But then as the series has progressed, she keeps gaining more and more abilities. Like, how many things can you be proficient in? She's inhumanly beautiful, a talented assassin. She has magical powers, like really, really high-ranking magical powers. She's a fantastic musician. She reads. Like, she's incredibly well-educated. She's just the smartest, thinking through all of these plans that you never see coming. Probably more because Mass didn't see these plot developments coming and just sort of developed them later and was like, Selena's a genius. You didn't know she was working on this. But like, she is the specialist special snowflake I have ever encountered. And at first I was like, okay, you're badass. But now I'm thinking that all of her features just make her very flat. She has no nuance to her character. You just know that everything she encounters, she's going to be perfect at because she's Selena. My love for Selena has decreased dramatically as I continue on with the series. This might also get me in trouble. Dumbledore. I started off thinking Dumbledore was kind of cool, kind of mysterious, kind of awesome, but the more we get to know Dumbledore, the more I have problems with him. Um, I think his withholding a lot of information from Harry is really inappropriate. Um, especially in book five, him ignoring Harry for a year 
really sucked. And his excuse for it sucks. Like, Harry has just witnessed one of his classmates die. He's clearly dealing with some PTSD. He needs help. He needs someone to talk to other than Ron and Hermione. Like, he really needs a parental figure. And Harry seems to view Dumbledore as a parental figure, but Dumbledore just isn't there for him. As I have reread these, and as I have thought more about the Harry Dumbledore relationship, I like Dumbledore less and less. So those are my five characters that I used to love but don't love anymore. Let me know in the comments down below what is one character that you really loved and now kinda sorta hate. I'd love to hear about some of the characters that you have had this happen to. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!